guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got my little snowman here, Kaysen. I want to change him today. It's my little sweetheart. I just love this little man. I love all my boys and my girls. I want to change him into this outfit. I have it for him and I've never used it on a baby. <laughs> It's the gray, light gray and dark gray striped vest with the raccoon pockets. White long sleeve onesie with raccoons on it and gray pants. Just dark gray pants. So I want to put that on him because I haven't put it on a baby yet. And I got him a hat, of course, because it's chilly. It's that time of year. I have been just crazy busy, so I'm not going to promise videos every day right now. It's going to be more like every second day or something. I'll try to get videos every day, like I said before, but I am not having any luck doing that. But I just have so much writing left to do. I have to double what I've done already, basically. Oh my. Last night, I, when I took a break from writing, I caught up on a few videos. Managed to do that. I was watching, I'm sure you guys have all heard of Life with Crystal. She's actually a friend. Oh, and I was watching on her channel. You guys need to check this out. You really do. She did, um, one of her videos was an outing with my other friend, with my friend Paula and another friend Marilyn. And they went to see the Grinch at a mall in Toronto. Or was it Scarborough? I don't know. That area anyway. Um, they went to see the Grinch and they had their dolls. You know, and it was an outing and they have a um, great reaction video and stuff on there as well of people seeing the Reborns. Really awesome. You guys should check that out. Crystal's channel is a lot of fun. So you should check it out. Definitely. But yeah, that was cute. I think the funniest part was the um, the couple that's expecting a baby. They're expecting a baby, and <laughs> the expectant daddy wanted to hold the dolls. So, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just adorable. Very cute. So you guys should really check that out on her channel. She just celebrated her 40th birthday. Boy, 40 seems like so long ago for me now. <laughs> I know it wasn't. It was only 11 years ago, but it just feels like so long ago. Well, 10 years ago. The 11 in March. But it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd be saying I'd love to be 40 again. <laughs> but I really would. Life was so different when I was 40. I don't know if these are going to fit him. They're newborn. Newborn usually fits. Oh, there we go. I don't know what it is with Carter's pants lately. They just seem to be made smaller. It's almost like for some of my babies, I want like three months size pants and newborn everything else. I remember when my son Greg was little, it was like that for him. Was it Greg? Yeah. I had the worst problems. He had, um, oh my goodness, this is crazy. He had kind of a long upper body and shorter legs. <laughs> So it was ridiculous trying to find him clothes. 
you know, you almost needed a size bigger, half of the outfit. So, but yeah, I had the worst time with him. And I find that with the reborn sometimes too, you uh, almost need to have two sizes in your outfits. So, you know. Sorry, I had to pause for a minute. My daughters were having a little spat. Yes, they're home for winter break already, the high school kids. Only because they had a COVID case in their school. So, yeah, fun stuff. And it looks like, it doesn't look, it actually doesn't look like they're even going to be going back in January. Because they had them clean up their lockers completely in case. They said in case of remote learning happening. And it is looking like that's going to happen. Um, <sighs> back to having kids home 24-7. I get to, oh, I don't know. I hope it doesn't happen, but it looks like it's going to. So... But yeah, there is Kaysen looking just so adorable in this outfit. He looks so cute. Check that out, guys. Isn't he adorable? Just a cutie pie. He's the Chase Sculpt, for anyone who doesn't know, by Bonnie Brown. And he was reborn by Patty, of course, from Patty's Artborn Nursery. So yeah, alrighty, I have rambled enough, <laughs> not even sure what I was talking about before my daughter started going at it. <laughs> That's going to make it difficult writing too, having them home all the time, oh my gosh, it makes my life difficult, so, but you know, it's for safety, right? <laughs> So I'm just really tired of the whole COVID thing. I'm just well ready for this pandemic to be over with. I'm crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm supposed to have my appointment in January in the hospital. And apparently now if we go on lockdown, it's going to be a phone appointment again. And I'm really getting tired of those too. Because I really don't feel doctors can determine what is going on with you or anything through a phone conversation. You know? <laughs> Doctors need to be hands-on, and they haven't been through this whole pandemic. And, you know, it's ridiculous. And when you're recovering from a stroke and your appointment's over the telephone, it really makes you wonder if they know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> you know, and if they're giving you the right medications, if they're doing things right, it's, uh, you just have to hope. <laughs> So, yeah, I am hoping things don't shut down again. But I know Scotiabank Arena for the Toronto Maple Leafs has announced that as of Saturday, they're going down to 50% capacity again. And when, when that happened last time, it wasn't long and it was just no spectators whatsoever. And, and the world just shut down. So, <sighs> it's happening again. I'm not impressed. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing Kaysen today, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic Thursday. Take care, guys. Bye for now.